Hey, this G Butterfly. Welcome to the Watch and Whisper channel. And yes, you do have a black screen because I have some things that I'm doing right now. So I'm going to just plug in some pictures. But I'm going to do a review of the latest episode of Love and Marriage Huntsville. It was emotionally draining for me watching it, especially the the portion with um, Kimmy and Maurice. So that he's really trying to be there for Kimmy. Uh, Kimmy said that she found not one but two lumps in her breast. And I can only assume that she's found a, a, a possible lump in her lymph node under her arm. And she's afraid that she may have breast cancer. And that's understandable. Um, when I looked at it, it just tugged at my heart and tears formed in my eyes because I had a sister who had breast cancer and her cancer metastasized to her brain. And unfortunately, she lost her battle with cancer, but she was just the life of the party. And just thinking about her makes me get sad right now. So I understand Kimmy's anxiety with the unknown and just trying to be strong for everybody. And Maurice said, you know what? I signed up for everything. And I said, you know what? Kudos to you, Maurice. Melody and Stormy meet up at a little store. They met up at a store and uh, Mel uh, Stormy told Melody that she wants to have a little something for the ladies to try to come together, like a little peace luncheon and um she said she wanted to invite all the girls uh, melody didn't seem like she was that enthused about coming but i think she's gonna go now the guys and this was good to see the guys got together and went and played basketball with stormy's husband courtney and courtney said you know what stormy's trying to get the ladies together i'm gonna try to get the guys together after that fiasco that happened at madani when they were all together when Martel and Marceau almost got into a full-blown fist fight. Well, he was saying that he was excited about the guys coming together. You know, they all just chit-chatted like guys do play basketball. It was Marceau, Maurice, Courtney, Mar Martel, and Big Lou. Well, the guys sat on and was talking and... Um, Martel told the guys that he and Melanie were in a good place and they were trying to co-parent and so far so good. And he was saying that Melody invited him to go to the Destin trip, Destin, Florida trip that she had planned for the kids. And he said prior to the divorce, he used to take them there as a family trip every year. And she wanted him to come since they were in a good place and, you know, just spend time with the kids as a family. And so Marcel say, hey, do you think maybe you may be giving the kids a uh, false hope. And Martel was like, no, you know, I think the kids need to see me and Melanie in a good place. And uh, so I can kind of see it from both sides. Martel want the kids to just be in a healthy relationship and a healthy environment with him and the mom. But I can also see where Marceau and Mar uh, Maurice were coming from. They were like, hey, you know, the kids may not say anything, but it's secret, you know, internally they may be thinking, oh, I want my mom and dad to get back together. They may be getting back together. And the kids kind of having false hope. Well, they finished their game, and I guess they all went their separate ways. And while they were there, Courtney was telling Marceau that he wanted to find out about the uh, commercial real estate business. And Marceau was like, hey, I'll teach you what you want to know. So they showed them getting together. I think it was at a hotel that Marceau Construction Company built. And they sat down and talked a little bit. And Courtney is really saying he just want to buy the commercial property and flip it, make a profit and keep moving. So him and Marceau talked a little bit about uh, what his what was his ultimate goal with everything and he said that he and stormy has made 20 million dollars together so he gonna keep running his business alongside his wife marceau pretty much said that he and kim uh he and tisha work better apart uh on the planning part he said they work well together but other than that he pretty much want tisha to stay out of his business that's how well, that's what i got out of that and so Courtney told him, you got an issue with working with women. He said, that's what it is. You got an issue working with women. So they just had a little lighthearted banter going back and forth. And the next episode is going to lunch. Not lunch. It could have been like a late afternoon dinner over at Stormy's house. Stormy had a violin player there. It really just set the mood. And she just wanted the ladies to just have a good time, come in peace, enjoy each other. And they all sat down on pillows at a very low table. And everybody was saying, hey, has anybody heard from Destiny? Why Destiny walk her tail in with her uninvited guest, her cousin Demi? I said, now, you know, what? Ooh, she don't have any type of coos about herself. How you just going to take somebody to somebody else's uh, event?
And Stormy was saying, oh, wow, Destiny brought you as an extra guest. She didn't tell me you were coming. In in a nice way, Stormy was really saying, Demi, what you doing here because you weren't invited? But I guess Demi didn't catch the hint because she started eating the woman's food. But that's neither here nor there. Everybody seemed to have made her welcome. But uh, based on how Stormy, was, how Stormy was talking, she really wasn't feeling Demi coming to her house uninvited. And I hope she have a conversation with Destiny about that later on. Well, at the meeting, everybody uh, seemed to be getting along pretty well. It was um, Tiffany came, Destiny, Tisha, Kimmy, um, Melody was there. And again, Demi, the uninvited guest, she was there. And Destiny was saying that she brought her cousin Demi because Demi was going to have her back. And I'm thinking, uh, why you need somebody to have your back at a peace party? And that's the same thing Melody said. I said, but that just goes to show that's, that's Destiny with her messy tail. And then she had a very bad attitude. Every time uh, the camera panned her way, she was saying something slick under her voice or just making ugly faces like she's been known to do. Well, she even uh, said that Melody wanted peace, but she said Melody wasn't peaceful when she came to Madani and was causing uh, confusion with her. And I'm like, no, she did not. I think Destiny has a memory lapse because... Melody was very nice to her when she came to Madonna. She spoke to her, called her name, and she said nothing else to her. Destiny was the one who caused the problem when she ran out of the door behind Melody, saying something to Melody, but I guess uh, Destiny forgot about that. The ladies um, said that they were thankful that they were able to get together again, and um, Destiny, not Destiny, Stormy had them all just burn sage, and I guess burning sage is supposed to burn away bad spirits and... um, just get all the bad juju out the air. So they did that. Stormy said, okay, I want us to play what I said, what you heard, and what I meant. Everybody was like, oh, Lord, are we for the play a game? This may not go well. And he was saying that she just want to have peace. She just don't want any drama. And then that's when Destiny made her little slick comment. Uh, Tisha said, you know what? I don't have nothing to say. I'm, I'm, I'm in a good place with everybody and I want to stay that way. I really don't want to just get caught up in no more drama. So it just pass me on by. They went around the table to Destiny. Destiny pretty much said she didn't have anything to say and made a little ugly face as she always do. Got to Tiffany. Tiffany said, uh, no, I don't have anything. And then Storm was like, you don't have anything that, you know, you could have said what the person heard and what you really meant. And then so Tiffany brought up the old stuff from the season before, or if not two seasons before, where she mentioned to Destiny at Destiny's brunch that she had seen her the day prior with her husband and told her her outfit was cute, but that wasn't Destiny. Basically, it was a woman he was cheating with. But then at least that's what the producers and everybody alluded to. But Destiny said that that woman he was with was a woman he got an award with. And I can only assume maybe nothing was happening. But she just said that that's the only issue she felt like she really had was with Destiny. And Destiny was like, well, uh, well, um, that just wasn't the place for you to bring that up. She said, but Destiny, the way you stormed off, you did it so dramatic. Like that was the first time you was hearing that. She said, you and I had had multiple conversations about it. So they both agreed that, okay, they're going to let it go, leave it in the past. So it got around to Kimmy. And you can tell Kimmy was emotional about what she had going on. She said she didn't want to tell any of the ladies what was going on, but she just knew she was going to need strength to get through whatever. And so everybody that knows Kimmy at the table knew something had to be going on because that just wasn't her normal demeanor. And Stormy said, are you sure you're okay? And she said, well, I'm going to come and give you a hug. Now, I don't know if you're like me, but if if I'm going through something and I'm, I'm, you could tell when somebody's trying to hold it together, somebody coming and giving you hugs and doing all that is just going to open up the floodgates. And I think that's what Kimmy did not want. And I think Stormy was coming from a good place when she went to hug Kimmy. However, that could have been the, the stick that just tipped everything over because Kimmy, you could tell she was really trying to hold hold it together well this episode was pretty good it didn't give a whole lot but it was okay i think the main part they wanted to convey in this episode was that kimmy may be going through a cancer battle so we're going to keep kimmy in prayer Uh, i'm sure the next couple of episodes we'll get more about her actual diagnosis well it's g butterfly and i hope you enjoyed this episode this uh review of love and marriage huntsville 